All right, so should you do regular AliExpress drop shipping or should you do print on demand? What's up, BFAM? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video, and today I'm gonna to be going over the differences between print on demand and regular AliExpress drop shipping. To cut right to the chase, I have some notes put together here for you guys to kind of go over just some key things I wanted to keep in mind. So if you see me looking away, I'm just checking on the notes that I have for you guys. So for those of you guys that don't know what print on demand is, print on demand is super simple. It's basically where you get these blank products, I would say like regular t-shirts, coffee mugs, pillowcase, whatever the case may be, basically blank products. And then you can then go and either create your own designs or find pre-made designs or hire a designer to make designs that you can put on these products and then of course advertise them drive traffic and make sales from it and that's how the whole model works so usually you know you can use an either website like printful or there's a few other ones but printful is one that i'm you know familiar with because i've seen it very often on the shopify platform it's super simple to do it uh it does take some time to kind of learn how it all works but it, again again it is very possible just some key things so both aliexpress drop shipping and print on demand they have some key things that they share and one of those things is that they both involve drop shipping so with both you don't have to order any inventory up front of course with aliexpress drop shipping you have your suppliers that you find on aliexpress and then from then uh, after you make sales you actually then have them send the products to your customers so you don't have to touch anything same thing with uh print on demand well almost same thing print on demand you know you have the products there you kind of choose what product you want to first actually start off with you want to start selling iphone cases t-shirts pillowcase whatever the case may be you then get your designs you put it on it and then you drive traffic to your store after you make a sale then you get the product made with that design and then it gets shipped to the customer so uh, you are still drop shipping with both in a sense uh, a lot of the processing is pretty automated i would say because again you don't have to print the design yourself onto the t-shirt let's say what the service that you work with either printful or a different service that does print on demand they usually take care of that whole process for you you can consider them both to be low risk business models because again you don't have to order any inventory up front so of course i'm a huge fan of low risk business models because of course there's no need to you know order a ton of products to then have them sit there to then then find out if they're obviously going to sell or not so uh, i'm a huge fan that's why i think that they're both great opportunities but we'll kind of jump right into you know some of the benefits of print on demand right so you guys can have more of an understanding so with print on demand usually one of the biggest benefits is that you get your own custom made products right so obviously if you're a designer if you're an artist and you like to design things that could be super beneficial and, and obviously it could be a good time for you because you can make your own designs for a specific audience or a niche and then put them on these t-shirts iPhone cases, pillowcase, whatever the case may be, and then sell it to them. So that's obviously huge because then you get to obviously stand out since you're selling custom made designs. That's one of the big, big things. I'm personally not a designer. I, I don't have much of a, I'm actually terrible at drawing. The best I can possibly do is like stick figures. And even sometimes my stick figures still look a little bit crazy. So print on demand may not be the best for me to do myself as in design my own designs, but I would definitely consider designing, a, hiring a designer to help me with my design because that's gonna make my life a whole lot easier if I was personally gonna do print on demand don't worry if you're not a designer there's still hope usually with print on demand you also get faster shipping because of course these products aren't coming from China sometimes services or websites that you're working with like printful they have a lot faster shipping so you can get literally the shipping down to like three to four days or you know a week's time you know having that fast shipping is a whole lot better than the shipping on Aliexpress so that's for sure one of the pros of doing print on demand that's huge into your print on demand business because it is a selling point the fact that they can get the product so fast is obviously huge right people care about the shipping believe it or not once you find one design that works either on a t-shirt or a iPhone case or a pillowcase you can obviously scale that product by obviously increasing your budget that you're using to advertise to give them a lot more sales but you can also scale sideways and what I mean by that is that same product and design that has been selling really well maybe it's an iPhone case you can then take that same design put it on a pillowcase and also market that as well and see if you can then scale across pillowcases as well. And if pillowcases doesn't work, you can then go onto t-shirts. That's definitely one of the huge benefits because of course you get to take advantage of the same design that's already been proven to sell just across different products. So that's pretty neat. Another one of the benefits is that there's usually less competition because of course the designs are usually custom made. You're not able to just find them anywhere, right? So obviously if you have custom made designs, people can't just go and 
make the same exact design. I mean, it does happen here and there where people like use other people's designs, but it doesn't happen as much. So obviously you're able to stand out. Now, as far as the drop shipping benefits, a lot of you guys have already heard me talk about drop shipping a ton. So you may have already heard a lot of this, but just in case if you didn't already know, it's a lot easier to find products to sell because if you know how to do product research, then you can usually go through your product research process and find products that have already been sold before and that are already selling really well. So with drop shipping, you have millions of products to choose from because of course they're all on AliExpress and there's continuously being new products being added into AliExpress. So you know you're kind of always gonna have products that you can test and sell, whichever one you want to do first, you know. Uh, probably want to test first then sell though definitely don't want to do vice versa that's one for sure the third one i would say is that you're not limited to selling any specific kind of products because you have so many different products on aliexpress you can literally go from selling mouses to whatever is hot and trending at the time right so you're not limited to any product you can sell pretty much anything you know once you're drop shipping from aliexpress let's talk about the cons when it comes to print on demand and aliexpress because of course anyone can talk about the benefits and all that great stuff but let's talk about the other side of things right so print on demand they're usually using a lot a little bit higher quality products i would say probably a lot higher quality products on some of the products that you are selling and you can choose from right so they usually do have higher product and higher shipping costs almost all the time right so i know for a fact on Printful, the starting price for selling, I forgot to mention, you can also do like coffee mugs. The starting price for it is $8.95 for the product cost. For worldwide shipping, I'm actually looking at it now, it's $16.95. So you're already at $25.90 for your cost without including in your advertising and marketing costs. So that is one thing to keep in mind, like usually for print on demand products, you are gonna be selling them at a lot higher of a price than your usual AliExpress products because of course they cost you a lot more. So that's just one of the things to keep in mind. There's nothing wrong with that. I know people again that are crushing it with, you know, coffee mugs. You know, I just wanna make sure you guys know that of course with print on demand, you know, there is a lot higher of product and shipping costs simply because they're a lot quality items and obviously they are a lot faster shipping. So obviously you're going to get those pros, but you're going to pay a little more for it, which is completely fair. For a print on demand, one of the cons is that you either need to know how to draw, which for me, I'd be screwed because I'm telling you guys, I'm not an artist at all, or you would need to hire a designer. So you're going to have to bring someone on board to literally take care of making all your designs, or you want, you're going to have to find designs that you can continuously use over and over and over again. So basically, rather than doing product research, you're focusing on designs. So that's just one of the things to keep in mind. One of the last cons that I have on here for print on demand is that you're limited to the kind of products that you can sell. Because usually these uh, websites like Printful or whatever website you're planning on using for print on demand, you're only able to do different products like t-shirts, iPhone cases, coffee mug, pillowcases, and leggings, shoes, things like that. You're not able to scale out and do other different things like light bulbs or sell different mouses and things like that because they don't offer it, right? So that is one thing that you are limited to the kinds of products you can sell. Nothing wrong with that, but just, you know, if you're gonna do print on demand, don't expect it to be like AliExpress so you can kind of just sell any product, right? So you just wanted to make sure, uh, you know, I got that point across to you guys. Now, when it comes down to the AliExpress con, so usually, you You've no, probably noticed that you've gotten some feedback from customers like, hey, this product maybe didn't come in the best shape or maybe this product after a couple of times that you used it, uh, it's no longer working. Usually suppliers, like they're usually really good at returning things and or if a product ends up gets to a customer and it's broken, like they usually send them a free one with no charge because they want to keep that reputation. Some of the products from AliExpress can be a little bit lower quality, which is completely normal because they are, you know, really cheap. So of course you can expect that. AliExpress drop shipping does have longer shipping times, usually three to four weeks for some products. But I actually have a video showing you guys how you can drop ship products from AliExpress with faster shipping time. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check that one out. AliExpress drop shipping con number three there is a lot more competition with AliExpress drop shipping simply because anyone can go find similar products and you know set up a store drive traffic and make sales right there are ways specifically that you can stand out and I actually have a video you guys can check out on brand building uh, which makes it a lot easier to stand out if you're doing things like you know again working on your brand and having a back-end system in place and a whole lot more there is ways you can obviously stand out from the competition right because not everybody's gonna know the exact things that are working up to date unless they're actually doing it themselves that was just my kind of take on both AliExpress dropshipping and print on demand. I personally 
think that they're both great opportunities. So if you guys are planning on getting into dropshipping, I would consider both of them. I personally don't have too much experience with print on demand, but I do know people and have buddies that do really well with it. So I'm thinking about potentially doing more videos on it. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below but yeah i mean i think they're both good opportunities that's why i personally think that drop shipping itself is such a huge opportunity because you have of course the regular drop shipping that everybody's doing with of course all the products from aliexpress but print on demand is a whole nother ball game because with print on demand you can literally target specific niches that you can't target on aliexpress because sometimes maybe they don't have specific products for that niche right literally with you know print on demand if there's any niche that you ever thought of that you couldn't find any product on aliexpress you can literally go and make a design and put the product either on a phone case put it on a t-shirt a pillowcase a shoe whatever the case may be whatever products you can obviously it makes sense to put it on and you know you can advertise and sell that product so that's why i personally think that you know if you guys are thinking about starting an online business drop shipping is like the way to go because there's so much opportunity you know within it so me and my business partner we actually put together what's called what we call the p2p drop shipping accelerator in the accelerator we basically teach everybody from step a to z how they can learn everything they need to learn to actually run a successful e-commerce business i have a link in my description you guys can check out the p2p drop shipping accelerator literally we show you guys everything from step a to z of how you can run an e-commerce business and of course if you guys got value from this video make sure you drop a like if you guys have any questions about anything that i went over either with aliexpress drop shipping or print on demand drop your questions in the comments below and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the vfam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace